Hey everyone and welcome to another Pokemon How To Guide. In today's guide I'm going to show you how to get any shiny Pokemon from any den within Sword and Shield in like an hour. There's this method, it's so streamlined, it doesn't take any time at all. Once you've got the tools in place and once you know how to do this, you can get this down and it's really quick to do. So literally it can take you about an hour. So I did a video the other day on the new rotation of GMAX Pokemon that we've got in the wild area. And obviously if you've watched that video, then you know that this specific den I'm in right now is a shiny Toxicity den. So we'll open this up. I'm gonna just actually get rid of this den. So I don't wanna just get rid of it completely. I am gonna catch this Toxicity. Um, but whoever jumps in on this raid with us right now, hopefully, they appreciate it. It is a shiny, so it will be a nice surprise for anyone jumping in. But the reason why I'm doing this now is to get rid of this den so I can walk you through the exact process of how I got this den shiny in such a short amount of time. I, I've already done a guide on how to get any shiny G-Max Pokemon in Sword and Shield, but it is a little bit of a clunky method. I will admit it does work. It does work. I've got a bunch of shiny G-Max Pokemon that I've done myself, so it definitely works. It's just very clunky, and there's a lot of things in that method that can go wrong, so it's not the best at times, and it's super frustrating when those things do go wrong. This method kind of takes away all of those issues, and it like I say, it's really streamlined. We're going to get into it. I'm going to just actually, here we go. So, Golbez, hope you enjoy. I think two people should be enough to take down this Toxicity. Um, obviously, I just want to show you that it is a shiny before we actually just skip into the video. And I show you that I'm not just cheating my way through this. I will catch it. And then at the end of the video, I'll obviously be able to show you that I've got two shiny G-Max Pokemon. Not one that I've just... <laughs> prepared earlier so there you go here we go there's our shiny toxicity i'll be right back after i catch this and uh, then we'll jump into this brand new method okay so we're back and i've finally managed to beat this toxicity it's a lot harder than what i thought it was going to be i'm going to use a fast ball hopefully we can nab it in that that'd be pretty nice and like i said at the start of the video Hopefully we grab it, but we, we're not going to be able to get it. So, <laughs> it does mean that I'm going to be giving up this den for free. For free! Okay, it's gone. This is what I'm doing for you guys to show you how confident I am about getting this den back. Okay, so, we don't want the bike. What I want to do is just knock the internet off. So, I just want to disconnect. So, some ground rules first before we get into anything okay so here we are this is the best area I think for us to start off because what we want to do like for this example what I'm going to do is use uh, the event Gigantamax Pokemon so I need to find a, a max raid den with the event Pokemon in it so um, what we're going to do is we're just going to drop a wishing piece here but before we do any activation of any den Let's get the ground rules down. For those of you that don't know this, I'm going to do it step by step. So, um, we don't want to save. We want to go into options. First thing you want to do is make sure that your auto saves are set to off. You don't want to be doing this with your auto saves on. You come out of a den, it's going to auto save. You're going to have to start the whole process again. Next thing is, if you're going for a purple den, we're not doing that in this method. So, we don't need to worry about it. But if you're going for a purple beam, uh, G Max Den, anything that you need one of the rarer beams for, turn your text to slow, and then you're going to have to reset for the den um, by just soft resetting and keeping an eye out for that beam when it comes out if you're wanting a purple beam. For this method, we're not going to need that. We do need to make sure whatever method you're doing, you need auto saves off. So, all we're going to do is try and get ourselves <clears throat> um, a den with the event G Max Pokemon in. And you need a bunch of wish wishing pieces to do this. Um, if you're not too worried about wasting them, um, I'm not, honestly. I just want to cycle backwards and forwards. It's the quickest way if you're not too worried about wasting wishing pieces. If you are, then um, there are other methods where you can just keep soft resetting for the den. So you just stand in front of it, you save before you drop the wishing piece in, and then you soft reset 
over and over before the uh, the text finishes once you've dropped the wishing piece in and just make sure that you are able to get that den so I'm just gonna run away from this deli bird who's ruining it ruining everything um, and we'll just continue this process it doesn't take very long to get okay well, that's unfortunate that's not what we need for this video um there we go okay so we got one we got one so this is what we need to do right now we've got the den and you can use this method with with any anything you're going for you want to save in front of it now this is the important thing the first thing we want to do here is um we just want to go into this den so and you need to catch this pokemon so one of the ways to do this that might make this a little easier for ourselves is by um just connecting to the internet i need to hop on my bike obviously to do that i'm just mashing buttons all over the shop in this video yeah but what we need to do the first thing is to catch this pokemon and the the method that we're using now is skipping a lot of the the other methods with having to catch a pokemon from the the third den and then the fourth den a three star or a two star a, forget all that this is the easiest method so what we're going to do is just hop into this and we're just going to invite others hopefully a bunch of people are just come into this it'll make it a lot quicker for us to get through cycle through this then okay so here we are we've actually managed to beat the toxicity so the, the thing that we want to do now is actually catch this um, if you've got master balls i would recommend using a master ball at this step remember don't worry about losing the master ball or anything we're literally only using this pokemon to trade off to a bot uh, which we'll do in a minute so we're going to reset after that so it doesn't matter what ball you use you'll get it back we're only doing this as a means to getting our seed we need to find our den seed for this specific den so we can find where our shiny is and then we know where we're going so thankfully we got the toxicity here a bit sad that we still didn't get that shiny one but it'll be all right we'll get it back we'll get that shiny den back so you can see now that we do have the toxicity that that we've just caught so here it is so that's the first step in this process. Now, the next step is what we want to do is just make sure that we are online. Um, and yeah, we are, we are. So basically, no, nope, we don't want to drop a wishing piece. We've saved the game beforehand. Now the next thing that we want to do, now this will be linked down in the description. We want to hop over to a site called Doodoo Bot. Doo -doo bot, yes and what doo, doo bot is is it's a it's a hosted bot and massive shout out to the guys that actually run this and have this accessible for people to use where we can trade a pokemon to this bot and it will tell us our seed so you can see here that you can you can see people are trading to the bot and it's bringing up their seed for that specific den so here um it looks Kind of busy at the minute, but hopefully it doesn't take us too long to um, to get a match. And sometimes this is one of the little drawbacks with this initial method is it can take a little while to to um, get a match up with this. So what we're going to do is just hop back into the game for a moment. And what we want to do is go on to our link trade and we want to set link with a, a link trade with a code so the code is if we hop back over to doodoo bot you can see the code here is 9162 so um i'll come back into the game 9162 and what i'm going to do is just hold off for a minute i'm going to show you exactly when you see doodoo bot right now is is a trade fan so what we want to do is wait for it to say input in code and then just kind of sync it up with see putting in code so we want to kind of wait to if we go back into my game now and then you can see starting search starting search and then we want to just mash a here and hopefully we are searching we're searching in our game so here we go hopefully it matches up hopefully we've got a trade partner now you want to keep an eye out for doo doo bot do we get it no we don't okay so doesn't happen the first time just quit out of it it's fine and then you want to just try and sync up with doodoo bot again okay so um i will input the code i should really have this over two split screens but it's fine um 
So we'll link to it again. The code is going to be the same every time. Now this bit can take a little while, but if you know when to start the search, it will make things a lot easier. So basically, I've got my code ready to, to put in. Now you can see DoodooBot right now, it's got the trade partner found. So that bot three is putting in the code, okay? So um, what we wanna do is kind of preempt when it's searching is, is mash, mash the A. So start searching now, is that what, that's what we're doing. We're in there and hopefully it syncs up and we can get ourselves a match with DoodooBot in the game. So let's see, let's see, let's see. A trade partner has been found. Come on, be DoodooBot. Come on. It is, it's DoodooBot. So once you're here, you've got 15 seconds, literally 15 seconds to trade the Pokemon. DoodooBot will cancel the trade. But now what we want to do is come back over to DoodooBot and we should see our seed appear, which it's there. You can see it. Osiris, Toxicity. Excellent. And that was only a few tries, right? You just want to make sure that you're getting the timing right. When DoodooBot is starting to search, that's when you want to be doing it. Making sure that you're catching it on that starting search screen. And then you can you can kind of sync your, your search at the same time. So, that is the first part of this. We've got our seed. That's great. Okay, so we're going to come back into our game. And we're going to reset. We're going to reset our game right now. And now we've got our seed. So that's great. We can just let that sit and play in the background. Now we need to come back over. Now if you use Doodoo Bot, we've got our seed. The next step is to go over to the seed checker. Now all of these sites will be linked down in the description below. So this is the next one. So what you want to do is when you're on this page, you want to come over to seed, which is just down here. And you want to just paste your seed in, starting frame is zero and you want to go a number of frames I'd maybe go 5,000 because you just want to show um where is it just the shiny 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 uh yeah search next shiny frame so we want to just hit that button and there we go look like magic our next shiny in this den is going to be 1,679 skips away so that's how many frames the shiny is going to be in our game so actually that's not too bad the toxicity that i originally had was 1890 odds so this is this is a little bit of an improvement so this is great what we want to do now though is uh we want to work out how many days that is in between so this is another site that you can use i use this in my initial guide um and to make things easier for you for working out dates and things before you start skipping dates just set your date to something like the first of the first 2000 okay so we know that we we've got to skip 1679 days um so that is going to be three six nine twelve dean so it's like five just over five years so let's start playing around let's go first of the first 2005 and let's just calculate the day duration here so oh wow it's not even that so it's it's way less than that let's see 2004 um okay so it's a little bit more so we'll go say june and we're getting closer you can actually work this out i always just do this so 1679 and uh, we need to go a little bit more so um probably july yeah, I'm not doing the quickest with, not the quickest math here, yeah, am I? Okay, so 7-9, we want one more day because actually we don't want to get to our specific date. We want to get four days before the date that we want to go to, okay? So uh, we know that we've got, our shiny seed is landing on 1679. We want to actually save four days before that because we want to be able to reset to the fourth then and then we can cycle through that until we get that actual shiny that we want. Uh, so 1675 is perfect. So this is our target date. We've got the 2nd of August 2004. So the first thing we're going to do now we've got all this information. And this is all you guys need to do. You need to just do the same sort of things I'm doing here. Hop back into our game. There's lots of skipping around between screens. So I hope it's making sense. I hope it's making sense. We're on good time at the minute though. So basically what we're going to do, we know this is our den. Okay, that's our first frame. And now what I'm going to do is come down to my date and time. And 
I'm just going to make sure, obviously make sure that your synchronized clock is off. And what I'm going to do is just change my date. Now this doesn't matter at all. Because you're not really, you're not skipping any frames at this point. We're just making this easier for ourselves. So this is our start and date. This is what we did on the, the date calculator. This is our start date. So the next thing that we need to do is come back into our game and we need to activate the date skip glitch. Now, unfortunately, the only drawback with this is you're going to need an, a Nintendo online account to do this to your home menu and going down to your versus stadium. Now, just be careful when you're doing this because there could be repercussions if you if you abuse this quite a lot. Now you can just play the game. Now you can just play a game of singles. You can play a game of doubles. Whichever ladder you don't really care about, and you want to do this, then you can you can just play the game out and then exit out of it. It will have the same effect. Honestly, you go into rank battles, and you come to uh, like obviously I play I play doubles. I play VGC, so my singles isn't my like my most important ladder rank um so you can come into this um and you can select your team so on so on um and just try and find an opponent and like i say play the game if you want um i've done this and i've played a game quickly and then stopped and then just exited out and you know what or you can just quit out of it I would say quit out of it if you're such low let if you're such a low point on the ladder then just quit out of it um and just for time saving on this 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 example i'm just going to quit out of it and give my opponent the win and that will activate the glitch but like i say you can play the game if you want if you've got a little bit of time on your hands i'd suggest just playing the game play the game out and then come out of it if you're practicing with a new team slot in a quick practice match it's not going to hurt it's just the ladder it's just a way to activate the, the day glitch and this just speeds the whole process up so like i say if you've got time to play the game play the game but because i want to try and keep this video as short as possible i'm not going to play it in this instance now what you want to do here is i've covered this before many times once you've come out of the battle it will go through all of this process you just want to mash b and just come out and now you are set to start skipping dates the first thing I would do before skipping any dates though and this is just from my experience I've had the game crash on me many times when I've been in the wild area so what I like to do when I'm skipping dates and especially a high number of dates is just come out of the wild area for some reason I don't know why if I come out of the wild area and I skip dates, my game never crashes. Now, I don't know if that's a thing or not. I've heard it from a few people, but I've never had any problems as soon as I'm out of the wild area and I start skipping dates. It doesn't matter where I am, it's just as long as I'm not on the wild area when I'm doing this. Okay, you don't need to be online as well, so what I'll do, I'll disconnect. The date, will, the date glitch will be active. Um, and all you do to activate this is go to your home menu, go down to system settings, down into system, date and time, and then just skip that date forward one day. Click OK, back into the game, see the flicker, and you've skipped one frame. So, we know our target date is the 2nd of August 2004. So that's where we're going. Now for this example, I'm going to just show you how you can do it a lot quicker because it, it takes a long time going through it like this because one way you can do it is by going to your home menu and you don't need to keep coming in and out of the game just to clarify that just go down to your system settings date and time into date and time just move your date up one click ok back in and that that is skipping the uh, and i'm not even showing you because i'm on the date yeah coming in here so in skip the date forward okay don't go back into the game, just come back here, skip the day forward. And that is advancing the frame one frame at a time. You don't need to keep going back into the game to do this. So you just do that until you get to the your target date that you've got four days, remember, before the actual shiny date. And then, yeah, you just keep coming in and doing it like this and back and forward, back and forward. 
Make sure that you are changing the month when the month should change because that will make sure that you are doing it correctly. Um, but what I'm going to do now is actually show you a method that's way quicker and you need to do this in handheld mode. Okay guys, so I pretty was really crummy on camera doing this. So I just want to show you how quick you can do this once you've got the date skip glitch set up. If you have your, your switch in handheld mode, then this is how quickly you can skip through dates. So literally you're just hitting up and the OK button and you just absolutely grind and blast through the dates as quick as you can here. Just make sure that you're taking care, like I said, when you get into the month end, that you're skipping the month as well to make sure that you're staying in line with how what your target date is. So we'll come back to the video when I have finished up getting to my target date. Right, friends, we are back. <clears throat> I've done all the date skips, so we're our target date, like we said, uh, we had on the screen just here. You can see the 2nd of August 2004. And to be honest, that's taken me like just over 20 minutes to do those 1600 date skips, which isn't bad at all. Like, not bad at all. I know we're not at our target date yet, but for good reason, because... I want to give ourselves a little bit of leeway so when we, we're just testing and checking out to make sure uh, we've got our, our shiny den in the right place, I've got a little bit of leeway so if we're behind it, if we're too far, you know, we, we can save ahead. It's better to save in front of the den knowing that you've got a little bit of room to maneuver around rather than ahead and miss your shiny seed at all if i can speak so we're not in the wild area we need to go back to our den so what we'll do is fly back to drappled grove where we dropped our initial wishing piece and then we can go back and check out to make sure that the um the dead skipping that we've done has worked uh the reason that I'm saying is kind of just be a little bit cautious when you are approaching your target date because when you're skipping so many dates at a time, it you can make mistakes and this just gives you that little bit of room if mistakes do happen to make sure that you're not wasting your entire time and you miss your den completely or if you go over it or anything like that happens so it does just give you that little bit of room so here we are now what i'm going to do is just commit to this now and save in front of the den now our target date put us to four dates or four frames before our target den before our shiny seed which we can we can see if we go over here if we go back to our seed checker that's our shiny a shiny seed the 2nd of August would give us 1675 so we'd need to skip four dates on from that and then that would give us our shiny den now we've saved two days prior to that so what we want to do now is skip forward seven days and if not if it's not there then we can just skip forward for a little bit more until we actually find our den but i'm going to go through this process with you to make sure that you 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 can see what i do to kind of narrow down where the the den is if you don't get it that initial time so what we'll do is we'll come back into our system settings and we're not in handheld mode for this one this is fine so we'll go one two two Three. That's our first one. Second one. Third. And fourth. Okay. So. We should be able to go back into the game now. Okay. And technically. This should be a shiny Toxricity. If we've done everything right. Now it might not be. We've saved it, so it's, it's fine. We can reset if not, and then we can just try and hone down where this shiny seed is, if I can speak properly. Is it going to be shiny? Come on. I can't tell. It's so subtle. It is. We did it right. We did it right. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's great. So, we know it's 
the shiny toxicity uh, that's what we were aiming for we give it up at the very start of the video to do this again we got it right first time so that's perfect now what we need to do is just we saved in front of the den so it's fine we need to close we need to close this unfortunately I could just go ahead and catch that but I do plan on streaming and uh, trying to uh, host this den for a bunch of you guys if you want over on twitch um Okay, so as long as you're saving at the right points, then you're fine. Okay, so what we need to do is we're back in the game. This is really and to make things easier for yourself. Just change the date back to the, the date that it was at your save point. So we know our save point here was the, the second. Okay, so we need to actually be on the third. So it would be the third to the fourth to the fifth. The sixth. No, because our third's the first one. Yeah, so. Yeah. Basically, what we want to be doing is doing this. Okay, so we need to do this once. Once, once, once. Go to the third. And now this is our start point. This is where we want to be saving right here. So yeah, we save right here. And then from here it's four. So Kingler's our first one. One. So that's our first one. A second one. Should be mill three, okay. To be our third one. And it's good just to double check, triple check if you need to before you save like nearer the den. So our third one's Kingler. Invite others again. And then this next one is the one that interchanges. So this is why it can be randomly anything. And it should be a toxicity. It might not be though, because the fourth slot always changes. Yeah, so a Grimmsnarl. Um, and if Grimmsnarl, G Max Grimmsnarl, is the shiny that you want, then you know you've done right if you follow this guide. We'll go into it just as an example. And it should be shiny Grimmsnarl. And that should end the video, my friends. That is the process. White Grimmsnarl, we know what we're doing. We know how to get to the den, as I've shown you here. This is a really quick squeeze down method to show you how to do this. And hopefully it's a lot of use. All of the links to everything you've used in the guide is down in the description below. Please, if you've enjoyed this, this guide, do drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more content like this and other Pokemon content and guides that we'll be doing and having coming out for the good foreseeable future um, and uh, leave your comments if you've got any questions or any anything you'd like to add about this method down below do leave your comments I'd love to hear how you're getting on the shiny G Max or regular den Pokemon that you have caught um, and yes good luck with shiny hunting and uh, thanks for tuning in as always and I'll see you all for the next one Santa Lentica and bye bye